hello, uh, my name is Tanya and today I'm going to be answering a few questions about my artistic practice. What goes through your mind during the process of an artwork? Normally when I'm doing an artwork I think a lot about my kind of um, movement um, and my kind of body in relation to the canvas um, or the space around me. Often with larger scale works, I'm really active, kind of just, you know, with brush strokes and engaging my whole kind of being into the artwork. But when I'm doing smaller sketches or smaller canvas uh, studies, I tend to be quite uh, attentive to my surroundings um, and I feel really grounded, you know, um, it just makes me feel, it's like therapeutic for me to sit down and do an artwork. So I'm always thinking about how I'm letting energy out. Do you prefer to work in an organised or random approach? I think my artwork covers, it's kind of in between really. It's organised in the sense that I map out things a lot. Um, I measure a lot of things and I... I like to see a clear progression um, from when I start an artwork to when I finish. So the stages are very sequential. But in, on the other hand, uh, it's random because I like I use lots of expression and um, yeah, I paint in, exp in an expressive way. So I let out a lot of feelings. So it comes across quite it has a lot of energy to it. Uh, and it's not too precious with paint or anything like that. What impact do you aim to leave on the viewers? Um, I mean, I don't have one intended impact. Uh, I think it's very much personal to the viewer how they feel about my artwork. But what I aim to do is kind of depict subject matter that's familiar to people. Um, so it's not there's not any kind of symbolism. It's just very straightforward. Um, it's often something like a wave um, or, you know, a household item that people have definitely seen. So it's just a kind of familiarity and a way to feel comfortable, I guess, you know, um, something that's not alien to look at. What is your earliest memory of being creative? Um, when I was younger, I was into quite a few things that are classed as creative, such as, you know, I like to write um, kind of short fiction stories. Um, and also, yeah, I, I liked drawing, obviously, but it was, uh, I really liked uh, kind of prehistory when I was younger. So I used to do a lot of studies of um, various kind of creatures uh, and whatever fired my imagination. Um, but it was just mainly tackled through other pursuits such as writing and things that kind of fired my imagination. I had a kind of phase in my life where I liked photography. I, I just liked to photograph everything, um, not really professionally, but I just like documenting. So I think that's how my kind of love for painting and drawing came about. It's just a kind of documenting of what's going on in my life uh, and around me uh, at various stages. So yeah. How do you see your work evolving in the next few years? Um, I'd like to see it change direction massively. Um, cause I'm not, I don't feel completely settled now with uh, what I'm doing exactly. Um, but I'd like to see it kind of become obviously with all the uh the stuff made uh, online i guess it might go there but i'm i feel like quite a so-called traditional person and i feel more a kind of authentic using my actual hands uh using doing the artwork um i don't really know i think i'd like it to be more uh, because at the moment i experiment with quite a few things. I do portraiture, I do landscape, still life um, and all sorts. So I'd like it to be one of those categories or if I could, I'd like to make a big category with all those kind of smaller ones that incorporates everything. So yeah, that's about it.